Kaya to a texture file. Um, so first thing you want to do is once you finish your UV, you're going to select your model in object mode. In your UV editor, you can say polygons, UV snapshot. And what this is going to do is it's going to export a file for you that is your UV map as um, just an image. So I'm going to choose PNG, a black color, choose whatever size you want it to be. I'll leave it as a thousand, which might be a little excessive for a barrel, but let's go crazy. I'm going to call mine barrel UV, UV, save, and click OK. All right, now let's go into Photoshop. I'm going to open up a file, barrel UV, click open. All right. So I have my UVs here, and now I need to actually start texturing. So I'm going to, I saved a really nice wood texture. I'm going to drag it in there. Great, and now I need to start applying this texture onto my model, into the UVs in the area that makes sense. So in my case, I'm just going to Okay, this looks nice. This one, maybe five. Rasterize my layers. Compress them. Scale down. All right, so do what you gotta do to make this texture look good. Now, my UVs are. I'm going to scale this down so that it fits the inside. Awesome. I can perhaps be a little bit more delicate about this, but um, I'm not, not going to do that. I'm going to come in here and select this area. Just creating my texture. Okay. Great. And I'm actually going to show you if I like do a little bit of painting. Let's see what this looks like. So if you're hand painting a texture, this will be very exciting. Okay. Mm. Beautiful, beautiful barrel. Okay. Red. All right, okay, well, so great. So what you wanna do when you've finished your beautiful texture and your fancy decorated barrel, make sure that you hide the UV lines and then you're going to get all your layers in one and save it out as a PNG. Okay. Real texture save. Okay. Awesome. Now, like I showed in class, there's ways that you can um, create a normal map. So normal map creator. First one, I think it's great. I'm going to take my barrel texture, drag it in here, Give it a second. Nope. Drag it in here. There we go. Ah, so beautiful. Now I can play with the strength of these, like, you know, wood's not like that texture. So I'm gonna do something like that so it doesn't have too much light. Alright. And I can download this.
the bump map. As I mentioned in the class, it's just an illusion of bumpiness, gives you a little bit of extra texture, um, and adds a lot of realism to your object. So what I wanna do, I can create a bump map from my texture map pretty easily. So I'm going to save this out as a new file, barrel bump, Okay. Now, bump maps are in black and white, and black is not a bump, and white bumps out. Um, so what I can do is I can take my texture map and desaturate it. And then, pretty much, sometimes you have to invert it um, to make it do what you want, but we can just try it out here. Um, I might want to just um, take the uh, contrast and lower it a little bit just so it's not like crazy bumpy. Take the contrast down, the brightness down. We really don't want it to be super bumpy, just, just a little bit. Just make it dark. Click OK. Alright, so I'm going to save this, export it out as a PNG. Okay, so now I have three texture files. I have my color map, I have my bump map, and I have my normal map that I've downloaded from the internet. So we're going to go into Unity now. And actually, I want to show you one quick thing. Before you bring your object into Unity, there's one last step you want to do in Maya, and that is to delete the history on your object. So when I create an object, I'm modeling it, I'm like altering all the polygons, I perhaps have a bunch of um, a bunch of stuff over here. Um, what's this? Oh, let me delete that. But you can see in your channel box you have all this history that's been recording what you've been doing to your model. And when I'm finished with it, I don't need that history anymore. So just to save space, um, you don't really want to be carrying that history around. Um, we're going to delete all by type history. Now it's fresh and clean, ready to go. Um, I also want to make sure that everything is zeroed out here. So I'm going to choose modify, freeze transformations. And when you do that, basically it sets it so that the scale and position that your object is in is zero, zero, zero for that object. So everything's at zero, 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 it has no history. It's really clean, ready to go. So I'm going to save my barrel now. Now I'm going to go into Unity and take, drag in my barrel and my texture and my bump here. Just drag it right into your assets. Drag it in, just thinking about it. Okay. I also want to bring in that normal map that I made. That's in my downloads folder. Normal map, yes. Bring it out. Okay. So I have my barrel. I drag that into my scene. Beautiful barrel. I'm going to create a new material. So I'm going to right click in my assets, say create material. I'm going to name it barrel. And in my material, I'm going to apply these maps that I've created. So I have my texture. I'm going to oops, make sure you have the material selected. Drag your texture into the albedo channel. Albedo is the color channel. You have the normal map. Let's drag the normal map in there. Just thinking about it. Let's try that again. Take it. And we have our butt map, and we're going to drag that into the height map. Ah, I got a little normal map error. It's not mapped as a normal map, but it is a normal map, so we'll say fix it. There we go. Okay. Great. So I need to put this texture onto my barrel, so I'm just going to drag it right on there. Ah, it's so beautiful. It looks great. Could have done a better job with this area, but it's lazy. Ugh. 
we have our decorative barrel bottom. I love it. Okay. One last thing I want to do is think about what my object is actually made out of. So in the physically based render system, my creates textures that are interact with light in the same way that that material would in real life. So you think about it, you have to know what your object is made out of in order to have a texture that reacts to light properly. So wood, if we look at these two settings, metallic and smoothness, these are where these come in. Wood is obviously not metallic, so it's not a shiny object. So it's not metallic at all. And it's also not smooth, it's very bumpy. So I'm gonna lower both of these all the way down and now light will not reflect off of it in, in the way that it would a shiny object. So you notice that if you kind of zoom around, um, you have this very wood-like texture. One quick thing, if you choose the color channel on your albedo, you can actually tint your texture. So if I want slightly different tints of barrels, I can do that. So it applies a color tint over your original texture. No tint at all is just white, but what if I want like a pink barrel? Awesome. So that is materials, creating textures, applying them to your object in Unity.